Now let's talk about the basics of using copy and paste in Excel and that just allows us to literally make a copy of either a piece of information or a group of information and then we're just going to paste it somewhere else. Now this is just the basics. We'll talk in more detail about some of the other types of copy and paste later but for instance if I want to copy just this cell B3 maybe I want to reuse that. One of the fastest ways is just to right click and then say copy in the menu then we come over here and I just click where I want to put it. I'm going to put it in cell F3, right click, and then I'll paste. Now what you'll notice is when I do a simple copy and paste, it's going to copy the contents of the cell, the formatting, but not the formatting of the column. And that's all by default. Now I say that by default because if every time we paste, as long as you don't move somewhere else, you're going to have this little paste options icon available. And if you click on the drop down arrow, it shows you all the other options you can do with pasting. And there's actually more than just this, but this is the shortcut. So I could keep source formatting, which it already did. Uh, I could match destination. That would be especially useful if I was going to be pasting to a new worksheet that maybe uses a, a different font throughout. I could just uh, paste the values, so if I click that, it's just pasting the values, not the color and all that. Uh, if I come here and I say keep source column widths, there we go, now it's adjusted the column width for me. Uh, if I say just keep the formatting, now I just have the formatting in the cell. It's blue with white text, but there is no text in it because I told it to just keep the formatting. I could also come down here and say link cells. What that does, uh, something we haven't covered yet, but up here now there's a cell reference, and we'll talk about that later, but what it does is it creates a link between the two, so that if I came over here to the original and started typing something else and hit enter, it is changed in this cell as well because they're linked together. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to undo my paste. So now let me show you though, that was just uh, pasting one cell and whenever I have this little marquee going, that usually happens after we've uh, copied something, um, I can get out of that mode by hitting the escape key on my keyboard. So you just hit escape and now that's gone. So let's try uh, copying and pasting the whole table instead of just one cell. So I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to copy, or I'm sorry, highlight the entire range all at once. Now instead of using right click copy, which I could do, I'm going to come up here though instead and go to home. And you see I've got the options up here as well. Copy, cut, paste, all those options you're familiar with from other programs. So I could click those or one of the things you'll probably find most useful is to use the keyboard shortcut. And The keyboard shortcut is to hold down your control key and then press the C key. So I hold down control and then press C at the same time. Now you see I've got that active little uh, dotted line moving around. I like to call it the marquee. If I click over here, and this is telling it where I want the up left corner of it, of it to start. So if I click down here, uh, it would paste it starting here and moving down. So I'll show you that if I click in cell F5. And again, I'm going to use the keyboard. So the keyboard shortcut for paste is control V, V is in Victor. I press Control V. Now it's pasted that over there for me. As you saw, it started it in the top left corner and moved it down. It'll always start in the top left. Uh, so now I can come over here and uh, if I want to change this, you can see it's not formatted very well. Maybe I want to say keep source column widths. And sure enough, there we go. It kept the same column widths. So now it looks almost exactly the same uh, as where it came from. And again, to get rid of this uh, dotted line that's moving around, I just hit the escape key and now I'm out of copy mode and I can go around and do whatever else I need to do. So that's the basics of copy and paste. So you can see there's a lot more options. We'll go over those later as well.